اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالکی یوم الدین ایا کا نعبد و ایا کا نستعین اہدن صراط المستقیم صراط الزین انعمت علیہم غیر المقدوب علیہم ولدالین آمین رب شحلی صدری ویسلی امری وحل اللقتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنی علما اجمعین انشاءاللہ اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما صلیتا علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہم بارک علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما بارکتا علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو الکیو ملٹن کلاس نمبر سکسٹی تھری One of the magic that we learn while understanding the, the language of Quran is when we recite these verses or when we um, send durood or uh, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, we feel his presence. So when we say kama barakta, so I know ta is for second person right so immediately you feel Allah's presence around you because you're addressing or we are addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a second person we miss these small little things if we don't understand um, the language itself and then when I say solli Allahumma solli then I know that solely is a humble request, fail amar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's in second person, anta form. So you feel the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala eh, around you. So these are the small little things that impact not only our salah but the way we recite Quran or when we make the dua. Just to in the last class, very quickly, um, we introduced uh, form four of, uh, of the verbs. Verbs, as we know, fil sulasi mujarrit are sound three letter verbs, which we, we can call them form one. We, we've been practicing them a lot. As we go along in our study, book two, um, we will be slowly introducing different forms of verbs. Um, and when a verb flows from form one into t these, these the different forms, um, the environment around them and the emotions around them uh, got changed. Um, and then once we understand the concept and when we recite the Quran and these different forms comes in, then we feel the difference. We feel the difference. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using this specific form? Why not he used this form or that form? And that prompts uh, pondering upon Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have used this or could have used that, but why he's specifically using this? Then that's where the scholarly uh, debate or, or the pondering on the Quran begins. That's what, that's what it is. So in the last class, class number 62, um, we introduce form four. Form four, the pattern is af'ala. Fa'ala is a, is a three letter sound, three letter verb. We've been practicing them. This is the fa kalima, this is the ayn kalima, and this is the la kalima. I'm only going to do one, nazala. Nazala mean he came down. But then when nazala moves into form four, af'ala, it becomes anzala. This Hamza is the augmented 
an additional letter, right? And when nazala becomes anzala, it becomes he sent down. So when we say inna anzalahu fi laila til qadr, right? Laila til qadr. So we know why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using anzala. And then in the same surah, he used tanazzalu. Tanazzalul malaikatu. That is another form of nazala. And then now we are thinking why Allah subhanahu wa is using tanazzalu. It's form six, I believe. Um, and has a different meaning to it. Gradually. Something being sent down in, in gradual, in, uh, uh, in steps. Um, we'll learn about form six when we, but I'm just giving a, a bit of a flavor. So the, uh, before the class, Sadar Bhai was asking me, for example, for Nazala, he said, well, Nazala mean he came down, Anzala mean he sent down. Uh, the meaning is a little bit different, but the action of downwards is there. Yeah, the action of downwards is there. Now he sent down or something is sent down immediately. And, and nazala, nazala is, is a form two. Um, it's, it's still coming down, but, but ha, it, it's coming down very hard. Uh, repeatedly, very hard, like striking it really hard, nazala. And nazala, so there are different emotions uh, behind those. Um, so, the, but the action of downwards is still around, right? Even though, uh, the um, uh, the the emotions are different, and the action is being performed in a in a different way. In a different way, uh, kasara kasara, kasara means uh, he broke. Kasara means he broke, which is which is f on a pattern of faala. But when it moves into form two, kasara with a shadda on it, it means he smashed. Now the, there is a difference between breaking and smashing, because smashing is a repeatedly a repeated action with force, right? And break, breaking is like you just drop something and it breaks one time, that's it, right? So you, your intention is different. Kasara and kasara, your intention is deliberate. In kasara, your intention is probably not deliberate, probably not deliberate. It, it could be an accident, but m maybe you just did it one time. So in kasara, there, has, there, there are emotions there, hard emotions there. So nazala, when moves into form two nazala, then we know there is a different environment around it. Just a very quick uh, introduction. The forms of uh, the, all the forms. Forms, faala, faala, fa yeah, and then the form six is uh, tafaala, uh, and then when it moves into mudare, it yatafaalu, and then tatafaalu. Uh, Most of these words are used in Quran. Tanzil, tanzil exactly. Uh, inzala, uh, yeah, formed. So, so. Nazala is actually a good example. I can see all ten forms there. <laughs> some some of the uh, verbs jazakallah <laughs> nambai. Some of the verbs have all ten different forms. Uh, now tanazulu technically in in that surah, uh, tanazulu technically in that surah is tatanazulu. It's mudare, but then but then f f fanatic wise, if we say tanazulu. Form, is it form five? Just like it's form five. It's actually tata nazalu, tanazalu malaikatu, right? Warrohu. Uh, um, uh, but that is technically a tata nazalu, but we say tanazalu. We don't use two tas there because of the phonetic reasons, the way the language has been developed. That's a very uh, a quick introduction, uh, a quick, quick concept of the different forms of verbs. Oh, doer of the actions, uh, um, doer of the action will still be, file will still be um, uh, a noun and that noun will be marfu. So, so, the, so the concept of file would not change. Uh, you mean nazala and anzala? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, we can we can discuss that, everybody. Uh, but but I I know what you're saying, Anzala. You're saying yeah, but the file file could be the file. Yeah, the, the yeah f f f no, yeah exactly. Uh, so the the file can be uh, can be himself coming down, or the file can uh, could be sending something down, right? Uh, I think what you're thinking is from the surah perspective. Then that is correct. Uh, Anzala hin sent down Anzalahu. We have sent it down. Um, so that a file is na, which is um, uh, referring it to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But then uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala Himself is not coming down. I think I think what Sarva Sahib is thinking from that pers uh, perspective of that surah, right? So the file can can come Himself down, or file can t uh, send something down Himself. So the file, the concept of file will will be there. The concept of file will remain there. Um, <coughs> So the uh, the the verb that we learned in lesson number sixteen is arada. Uh, quickly, arada uh, when it comes into a mudare form will be yuridu, and we learned in uh, uh, class number sixty-two that uh, this alif is a weak letter, and hiding behind alif is waw or ayya, and then the waw and ayya will manifest itself uh, when it moves into a mudare form. So, arada yuridu yuridani yuriduna turidu turidani yuridna turidu <coughs> turidani turiduna turidina turidani turidna uridu niridu we know 14 third person masculine huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna third person feminine anta antum antum second person masculine anti antum antunna second person feminine ana nahnu first person like means i and we so this is what we uh, what we learned in in uh, in the last class. So we'll continue our lesson. Try to inshallah finish the lesson. There are many exercises, um, and we'll see how how much we can uh, we can finish. I think the last time we were on uh, uh, page number one ten, as per the old book. I think the new books have a different page. Uh, it's lesson number sixteen where uh, the father was t uh, talking to his sons and to his daughters uh, 110 as per the old book 110 as per the and then the father said maza turi dina ya sawat so he is talking to one of his daughters sawat and he's addressing sawat so he should be using the anti form turi dina right singular second person feminine so he said what do you want o sawat and the sawat said in the I have Miss Taratun, a ruler, Sagiratun. What kind of ruler? Small ruler, right? Sagiratun um, is your nath. Now this is a jumla. Uh, this is a jumla ismia. Uh, Indi is your uh, sarf and mudafale, khabar, mukaddam. Khabar is coming before the mubtada. And Miss Taratun is your mubtada muakhar. Then she said, Uridu. Now she's now Swad is saying, Uridu. I want or I wish Ukhra Kabiratun. Uridu. Now she's talking as a first person. She said, Uridu, Ukhra Kabiratun. Now Akhara and Ukhra. Akhara is a masculine form and Ukhra is the feminine form. Akhara, Ukhra means another. Another. But when we are talking another in, 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 in a feminine form, we say Ukhra. There's an exercise there. We'll quickly go over that exercise. And when we are talking about masculine, then when we use ahara. Okay, that's one of the exercises there. Alabu then the father said, Vamaza Turidina Anta Yalala. Now he's talking to his another daughter, saying, And what do you want, O Laila? And Laila said, Uridu, I want. Uridu, I want. Mushafan. Za. Harfin kabirin. Now, in 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 the exercises, Dr. Saab is giving us an exercise on akhara and okhra. He's also talking about zu, za, and z, uh, which is zu is a is a particle. We will learn about that. And ghair, ghair il makdubi alaihim waladdawalin. Ghair is also a particle. Okay, the, these are the three small little concepts that we will learn in in this in this lesson. So, Laila said, Uridu, I want mushafan. 
a copy of the Quran za with or possessing harfin kabirin now some particle in in arabic language like ghair zu ayu and there are few others they will always be followed by mudafale right we say zul and this is this is beautiful because yesterday in the uh, in the juma khutbah uh, uh, sheikh daud uh, he was talking about zul jalali wal ikram he was mentioning the compound name of allah subhanahu wa taala and he said zu al jalali why not al jalalu why al jalali because zu will always be followed by mudafale right and then he mentioned uh, an ayah from uh, surah ar rahman where z is used tabarak asma zul zul jalali ikram uh, and then he also uh, and then we say allahumma anta salamu wa minka salamu ya zal jalali ikram right so zu za and z technically it's the same the meaning is the same but why we're using it because when he was uh, giving the khutbah and i was thinking to myself people might be getting confused because sometimes he's using zu sometimes he's using za and sometimes he's using z and people might be thinking are we reading it wrong like they don't understand the the, the difference uh, we will learn that because zu technically has a, a marfu form mansub form and a Uh, majroor form it declines properly zilhaj right uh, so uh, day of the no uh, oh, 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 I, I, yeah related to haj yeah um so but technically it declines so i was thinking to myself god i mean i would stand up or just mention him just tell them that zoo what is the difference between zoo za and z the people might be confused um because he would say ya zal jalali wal ikram and then he go back to say zul jalali wal ikram i'm like okay this is uh, anyways harfu nida yeah because harfu nida will make the munada uh, mansub because zoo is coming as a mudaf uh, therefore it makes it makes it mansub and and that's how um uh just memorizing and this understanding will make will make a big difference so anyways uh she said um laila said uridu i want uh, i want i want what so musaffan is coming as a mafulun bi as an object right um za harfin kabirin now the point is uh, why not uh, dr sab is using zu here why is using za si see we learning now she said uridu i want i want i want what we need an object maful and then musaffan is a copy of the quran coming as mansub form why za because za is a not for musaffan for maful yeah maful will be musaffan because what kind of musaff remember adjective so uh, with harfin and harfin is your mudafale and kabirin is your nat for harfin so now we understand why harfin kabirin why why not harfun kabirun um this is beautiful and then there is a relationship between musaffan za harfin and kabirin four of them now once we understand this relationship grammatically imagine when we are reading the quran and something come across an aya and we st- we start to make relationship between these words uh, used in that aya grammatically imagine the impact it will have on our heart this is what i'm this is what i'm trying to trying to emphasize here that's why we are learning this grammar the focus of learning grammar is not to be a grammarian here the focus of learning the grammar is to understand the emotions behind those words and the relationship between those words and then trying to understand what allah subhanahu wa taala is trying to tell us and in what way and in what emotions he is trying to tell us that's what it is alabu then said ama turidina shayyan ya salma again he is asking salma another daughter do you do you want uh, uh, don't you want something shayyan ya salma there is another concept in this lesson very important is ma masula we'll talk about that as well there there are three or four different um uh, concepts uh, we'll learn uh, do, don't you want something uh, o salma ama turiduna turidina shayyan ya salma salma said bala of course why she is not using naam because the question was asked in negation that's why she said bala of course bala has been used in quran uridu i want معجما dictionary 
انکلیزین نا انکلیزین انگلش ڈکشنری وا اینڈ آخرا فرنسین اینڈ انادر ون ان فرینچ فرنسین آخرا وائی آخرا ون ایٹ اخرا بیکاز ناؤ وی آر ڈیلنگ ان میسکولن معجمن از میسکولن دیٹس وائی وی یوزنگ آخرا بٹ اف اف دا Uh, if the thing that is re- that is uh, required is 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 uh, feminine then we will use ukhra ukhra alhamdulillah we understand this concept i mean even we will quickly go over the exercises alabu said ama turidu ummuki shayan now the father is asking ama turidu ummuki shayan don't your mother want something here form because she is now he's using mother is not in front of father uh, she's a third person so that's why she he's using he a turidu ama turidu now for for people who are, uh, these books uh, are available on our websites lqmilton.com you can download them for free for people who are new to the class lqmilton.com the links are there um doesn't uh, don't uh, doesn't your, your mother need something salma said ma adri i don't know now ma so far we have learned two different kinds of ma ma an nahiya uh, as a as a as a harfu nafi uh, uh, ma is a harfu nafi not an nahiya forget about an nahiya ma is a harfu nafi and then ma is the famia ma in uh, invest investigative manner we have done today we are going to learn about ma Uh, coming as ma masula ma ka, uh, is used in quran many times as shayun allazi or in in a in a concept of allazi is called ma masula lahu ma fi samawati allah la ilaha illa huwa al hayyu al qayyum la ta'khuzuhu sinatan wa la naum lahu ma fi samawati now this ma here is ma masula it's not nafi is not istifamia it is not a question it is not a negation it is mamasula so we have to understand the uh, the concept of mamasula here so here is when salma said ma adri i don't know this ma is used in negation i don't know arfu nafi a asalha i will go and ask her should i ask her uh, because i is uh, uh, is harfu uh, exactly harfu harfu istifam alabus said naam yes is alaiha ask her i'm not going to the verb uh, sala sala is a weak verb um but we'll just move on salma takh uh, takhruju she left summa then tadkhulu she enters baad qalilin after a while right very simple translation hiya taqulu she said hiya taqulu she says she says taqulu is is mudare sorry she says innaha turidu innaha indeed she wants salasata amtarin 3 meters min hazal kamash from this uh, cloth min hazal kamash simple translation we are not going into into the grammatical analysis here right now khuz take amar hazal namuza ja which is a sample a sample ya yeah, abati oh my father hmm. so father said alabu now watch uh, see ma ma negation is uh, ma in the sayaratun i don't have a car or masmuka what is your name so ma coming as as in negation and ma is also coming as istifamia in interrogation now watch for this sentence here alabu says saashtari ashtara to buy i will buy this size uh, this scene is coming as harf ustaqbal now uh, if we want to use mudari specifically exclusively for future then we will bring this scene see this scene is called sayaqulu safahaw see the 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 fools will say is exclusively for future so saashtari so so now we are using this mudare in exclusively for future saashtari i will buy lakum for all of you 
uh, which includes the, the daughters and the sons, ma turiduna. Now, this ma here, is it negation? No, no he, he wants to buy things for, 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 the, for the children. Is it, is, it, is it a question? Is it istafamiya? No, it's not. He's not questioning it. He said, I will buy ma shayun allazi, which means it is ma masula, used in a meaning of allazi. In Quran, allazi come, allazina comes all the time. So this ma is ma masula here. Whatever you want, whatever turiduna you all want, right? Turiduna you all want, inshallah, if Allah wills. Right. The inshallah, we will uh, uh, analyze inshallah some other day. Inshallah is a very powerful statement, but unfortunately, most of us use it throughout the day, inshallah, without realizing as a just as as, as a word. But it has a very powerful in. It is a conditional sentence. And and it goes back to the statement that's made before. It's a very powerful. Uh, statement. Once we analyze it uh, some other day, then uh, then we would understand. Then we, when we use inshallah next time, we would know what we, we would know what what we are saying. <laughs> it's not just inshallah. And then uh, I don't want to say when if most people when they don't want to say some, uh, do something, they just say inshallah. Only if Allah wants. Yeah, only if Allah wants. I'm not I'm not ready for it. That's not what it is. It's a very powerful statement. Anyways, so now we know the concept of Mama Sula. Okay, uh, very quickly, okay. Ajib anil as'alatil, now we are going to exercises. Ajib anil as'alatil atiyati, answer the following questions. Dr. Sahib only giving us these questions so that we, he knows that we understand this, uh, this, this lesson. Mata yazhabu alabu ilasuki. What is the translation? When will uh, the father will go to the souk, to the, to the market? Sayyazabu, he will go bada salah. So we just say that by the salah after the uh, salah. Maza yuridu yurid, yuridul Hussain. Maza. Now this ma here is maza and ma mean same thing. See, Dr. Sahib is very clearly um, bringing in the different forms of ma. Uh, what does what does Hussain wants? You, uh, yuridu hal, uh, halawa. He, he needed the sweets, the halwa. Maza turidu swat and what does uh, swat wants? She wants turidu mistaratun kabiratun. She wants uh, 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 longer, longer uh, ruler. Manillazi yuridul mistaratun. Who wants manillazi? Who wants? Uh, who's the one want uh, al, uh, the the ruler? Ewa swat. He has swat. We say he has swat. Maza turidu alamu and what does the uh, mother wants? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Turidu salasata amtarin minal kumash from the cloth. So uh, these questions can be easily answered going through the lesson. So when ma comes in the star, so it's either question mark or negation. No. No, no, no. I mean, I know where, where you're going, but not necessarily. Question has to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have to, Sahih uh, Yali, correct the following. Okay, now this is, this is, uh, um, uh, Yuridu Umaru Kalaman Azraku. Okay, so Dr. Sab is giving us a statement, and uh, he's he's asking whether this uh, this statement is correct or not. So very quickly, Yuridu Umaru Kalaman Azraku. He ne uh, um, Umar wants um, a blue pen. No, no, no. Ahmaru. He needed uh, a red pen. So that's all we are saying. Yuridu Hishamun Ashya Kasiratun. Hisham needs many things. La Yuridu Shayan. He he does not need. Anything, he doesn't wish anything. Hafsa in the haqibatan haqibatun sadau. Hafsa has um, a black no. back. No, no, no. She has humarau. Okay, uh, uh, a, a red, uh, a red back. 
Al Hussein fil Matbakhi. Hussein was in uh, the kitchen? No, no, no. Fil Hammami. He was in the uh, in the washroom. So we read through the uh, through the sentence and then we'll go back to the lesson and see whether this uh, this statement is correct or not and if it's not correct we'll say no fil hammami or humarau uh, correct the sentence that's all we're doing here now this exercise number three is um uh using uh the the mudare form of uh, arada properly so that we understand what we're doing maza now this maza is coming as a, is istafamia as a question mark. Now who are we addressing? Ya ikhwan, oh brothers. So rulers, uh, masculine, right? So what sh where should I use antum? Are you missing uh, one question? Number two. Kirito umar salman azra. That was uh, exercise number two. Yeah. We did that. Oh, we did that. And number we did that. We are in exercise number three. Oh, okay. Three, yeah, three, so. three, three, three. Okay. Ya ikhwan. Um, oh, brothers. So when I say ya ikhwan, ya is harfu, uh, harfu nida. Harfu nida is used in ya zal jalali wal ikram or ya rab. Right? So with ya is harfu nida. Um, very quickly, ya is used uh, for second person only. Okay? Uh, because we are addressing somebody who is in front of us. Rabbana atina fid dunya. This Rabbana, why not Rabbuna? We know uh, if if a mudaf comes after ya, it will become mansub, right? But sometimes ya comes and then goes away, goes for coffee. But then when it goes away for coffee, he will make the mudaf mansub to tell people that I was there once. I see this is beautiful and we, we, we miss these things. Rabbana has a ya, we are addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly, second person. But most of the time when we read these, uh, these du'as, we think that we are addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a third person. Why, Rab, why not Rabbuna? Why not Rabba, why Rabbana? Right, Akbar? Yeah. Because ya was there. And ya just drops. When it drops, it leaves its mark. There are so many small little things in Quran. Lakum dinukum waliyadini. Now we don't see a ya mutakallim there, but then when see a kasra there under dini, which means ya mutakallam was there, and then it goes. When it goes, it leaves its mark in a, in a kasra form. So my deen. Okay, we, we move on. Uh, ya ikhwan, a second person masculine uh, rulers so we say turiduna now ukhti my sister hazal kalam so ukhti is uh, my sister so she is third person she is not in pre uh, in front of me so i would use here form turidu turidu right so all of them are here now i'm talking to ya laila when i say ya she, which means she is in front of me so what should i use anti form Turidina. A Turidina Hazel Mujallati. Turidina Hazel Mujallata, Ya Laila. Do you want this magazine, O Laila? Now I'm talking to Ya Sayyidi. See, the point is in this exercise, technically, when we're doing it, uh, it's page number 112, is to see who are we addressing it to. If a second person, masculine, feminine, plural, singular, once we understand, who are we addressing it to? Then we go to this uh, uh, conjugation and then uh, pick up a, a proper uh, verb there. So now Ya Sayyidi means Oh my sir. So which means that person is in front of me and then he's singular and he is uh, masculine. So I should use Turidu. I'll just move on, right? That's all we're doing. Ana, now Ana means I, which is first person. Right, Ana. What should I use, uh, Shajil Bai? Uridu. Ana Uridu. I want Ashia, Kasratan, many things, Minasuki from the market. Try to translate these as well. We we our our focus is to try and finish this lecture in one hour. 
uh, but then we, we don't have time to grammatically analyze each and every sentence, um, but then try to translate these sentences as well. Now, ya akhwati, oh my sisters, right? So, rulers, uh, feminine, second person, antunna form, turidna. I would should use turidna here. Maza turidna. What do you want, oh my sisters? Nahnu. We first person, nuridu. We want musafan sagiran. Copy of the Quran, small copy of Quran, right? Atulabu, the students. Third person, right? Uh, uh, third person, masculine, uh, rulers. Hum, yuriduna. Yuriduna. Simple, huh? The fatira. The students wants what they want. The fatira, the uh, the notebooks. Uh, th their notebooks. Al mudarrisatu. Rulers, feminine, right? Third person. What should I use? Hunna. Yuridna. The teachers want tabashira. Tabashira. The chalk. Al-Mudiru, the director. Now, director is singular, masculine, third person. I should use huwa, yuridu. The uh, yuridu, qaimata, asmail, atullabi. Uh, qaima means the list of uh, the names of the students. Number four is uh, is is a verbal exercise uh, which we uh, which uh, is basically Dr. Sab is asking Maza Turidu. It's a conversation. You guys can talk to each other. Maza, what do you want? And you say Uridu Kalaman or something. Or the teacher would say Maza Yuridu Zamil. What does your colleague wants? Uh, we say Yuridu uh, Ashaya. Um, uh, he wants tea. So that's a verbal exercise uh, just to uh, uh, practice uh, the verb. Uh, so moving on to uh, exercise number five. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, these are uh, colors. Very quickly, because colors, I mean, focus of this, this class is to understand um, the Quran, right? Uh, some of the lessons or, or so some of the exercises here is basically Dr. Saab uh, is using for uh, general conversational Arabic as well, so that we understand. Uh, but we may not, we have to, we don't have to uh, really put more focus on those concepts. So here, Dr. Saab is telling us about colors that colors have masculine names and fem feminine names. That's all. That's all he's telling us. So the masculine. Um, uh, the masculine uh, form of the color is afala, ahmara, aswada, abiyada, asfara, akhzara, asmara. In the form of afala. So ahmara means red, aswada means black, abiyada means uh, white, asfara means yellow, akhzara means green, and asmara means brown. But when these colors move into a feminine then it will be in a form of fa'alau ahmaru will become hamrau aswadu become saudau abiyadu become baidau asfara asfaru uh, will become safarau akhzaramun khazrau asmara asmaru brown me uh, will become samrau so af afalu and fa'alau. So that those are the pattern. It's very simple. So just remember this, and then we'll move on. Uh, exercise number six. Here, Dr. Saab is again bringing in the colors, and then now we have to use uh, we have to use colors either in their masculine form or in their feminine form. Right. Uh, so number one, sha'aru. Rasi. Rasi means my head. Sharu means hair. Akbar is playing with his hair now. Yes. I know your <laughs> Aswadu. I know they are black. All right. So hair is masculine. So we I use 
Af'alu, aswadu. Af'alu, aswadu. Wa lihati and my beard. Now, lihatun is beard. And it's tamarbuta there. So, that means it is feminine. So, what should I use? Should I use, and it's white. So, should I use abiyadu or baidau? Baidau. Because it's it's feminine. Baidau. That's all that's all we're doing here. Number two, Uridu Kalaman. I want I want what? Pen. Azraku. Blue pen. Wahkibatun and bag. Now Hakibatun is feminine because there's a ta marbuta at the end of it. Hakibatun. Uh, red red bag. So should I use Ahmaru or Hamrau? Hamrau. So Dr. Sab is just telling us is Hamrau. Similarly, number three, Huwa Asmaru, he is brown. Zaujatuhu and his wife Aidan also Samrau, brown uh, in the feminine form. Number four, Sayyaratul Mudiri, car of the director. Sayyaratu, feminine. Should I use the, the, the masculine form or the feminine form? Feminine form. And, and I'm talking about green. So not Akhzaru, I should use Khazrau. Khazrau. Was Sayyaratul Mudarrisi? And the Sayyaratul Mudaris and, and the car of the teacher is Baidau, white. Hazihil Bakratu, this uh, cow. Um, now, cow is feminine. So, what should I use? Sadau. Jamilat, uh, uh, this, this is the beautiful black cow. Ma Ajumala. Ma Ajumala. What is this Ajumala? Verb of wonder, yeah. afala, right? Um, how beautiful, how beautiful. verb of wonder, how beautiful has his zahrat al hamrau. Um, how beautiful is this red rose or red uh, flower? Hati warakatun baidau. Hati means give to me. Warakatan, give to me, give to me what? Page. What kind of page? Baidau, white page. In a, in a feminine form. Liman has a sayyarata a safarau who uh, to whom this yellow car belongs. Number nine. Uh, number nine. Ahaza daftaru zul ghalafil asfari laki ya hafata. Is this notebook with uh, yellow uh, cover? belongs to you, O Hafsa. So we are talking about daftaru. So we should be using masculine form or the feminine form? Asfaru, masculine, right? Masculine. And number 10 is, ma ajmala, how beautiful. Tilka, now there are so many small little things going on here. Um, um, grammatically, uh, which we know these concepts. Uh, but but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, these concepts will come over and over because we keep repeating ourselves for the past so many classes, 62 classes, we are repeating these concepts that we have learned in the past. So don't worry about that. Ma Ajmala, how beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful what? Tilka. What is the grammatical value of Tilka? Mafulunbi. Mafulunbi. Tilka Ashajarata is your badal. That tree. Al Khazrau, uh, green tree, Al Lati, which is Amam al Jamiati in front of the university. So, simple translation. Huh? Number seven is again colors. Number seven is again colors. We'll see how far we can go. Uh, I really wanted to do the uh, the Ma Masula example, but that's fine. Um, if we don't finish this, uh, next time, inshallah, we'll try to bring uh, some examples from Ma Masula uh, from the Quran. We analyze those, and then we'll also try to find uh, some examples on Form 4 from Quran. So maybe f four or five different examples, Ma Masula and uh, Form 4. We'll analyze them so that we understand uh, those those concepts. Number seven, the put fil farag 
in the blank fima yali kalamatin now we have to we have to put proper color name in in the blanks for this exercise number 7 so sha'aru hair rasaka hair of your head is aswadu black not sadau because we are talking about masculine hair aswadu wali hataka and uh, your beard baidau white ha huh? baidau haqibati my back haqibatun feminine haqibati now you can make it any color hamrau red or or any color baidau hati qalaman bring me a pen now pen is is is, is uh, masculine so let's call it uh, <coughs> blue pen so azraku wa waraqatan and the page baidau baidau not abiyadu baidau because waraqatan is feminine that's all <coughs> number 4 nahnu we naktabu right bil kalami with the pen what kind of pen al aswadu or al azraku black pen or or blue pen wal mudarrisi and the teacher yaktabu writes bil kalami with the pen what kind of pen al ahmari why why am why am saying al ahmari not why not i'm saying al ahmaru because it is a nad for al kalami for people who are who been with us they know why not al 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 ahmaru why why are we saying al ahmari because kalami is a nad for al kalami and and we know the concept of adjective that adjective follows uh, the nad follows the manut right in in uh, in case ending number 5 sayyarati my car saudau let's call it a black car wa sayyarati wa sayyarat tu zamili and the car of my colleague baidau is is white liman zalikal bait zul babi to whom that house with a uh, door what kind of door let's call it al akhsaru great door right ma ajmala how beautiful now verb of wonder ma ajmala hazihi hazihi al baqarata now this is beautiful hazihi al baqarata what is the grammatical value of hazihi here mafulun uh, exactly is mushara mafulun bihi it is a technically mansub and what is the grammatical value of al baqarata it is the badal right it is a badal that's why it is mansub the reason is because it is we are not saying baqaratu we are saying baqarata because it is the badal for hazi and hazi we know is mabni now these are so many concepts for new people but if we understand these thing that's beautiful um so uh, what is the color of uh, this uh, uh, this this cow uh, uh i don't know ha huh. uh, let's say baidau so saudau or baidau black or white qatalatil baladiyatu baladiyatu is the uh, um the city administration right the city administration qatalatil baladiyatu al kalba the, uh, the the city administration municipality. municipality municipality is a better word municipality killed the dog al aswadu the black dog allazi which one kana fi shari was in the street na kana we know uh, is is a is a naqis verb la taktabu la, sorry la taktub what kind of law is this we have learned this shajil bhai what kind of law is this la nahiya order in negation See, this is this is uh, this is how if we if we uh, identify these small little things in quran the entire impact of the uh, ayah will change if we identify la nafiya la nahiya la nafiya to lil jins there are so many different kinds of las there are so many different kinds of ma 
if we understand all these things because and we 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 can actually identify them based on how they perform uh, in in the aya then the entire uh, concept will change so la taktub don't write bil kalami what al ahmaru al ahmari don't write with the red pen al mindilu the handkerchief al azraku wasakhun um is dirty uh, the 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 blue handkerchief is dirty number 8 it's, it's very quickly uh very quickly number 8 we already know the concept of diptot what is diptot al mamnu min as sarf forbidden to decline so nouns we know decline properly some nouns decline properly muhammadun muhammadan muhammadin right muhammadun muhammadin sometimes we say allahumma salli ala muhammadin sometimes we say uh, ashhadu anna muhammadan not din but dan la ilaha illallah muhammadun so see how it declines dun dan and din sound but some nouns or some names they are diptots they don't decline completely for example uh, khalidun with a tanween dun sound will be khalidan and khalidin hamidun aliyun and hishamun they they are all complete they decline completely but some names we know uh, are diptots for example umaru umaru is is a marfu form but in when it will be uh, mansub will be umara and when it will be in a majruf form it will still be umara that's all that sahab is bringing in another form of diptot and we know the feminine names are diptots we know the foreign names are diptots we have learned this concept right that's all he's saying zufaru hubalu and zohalu they are all diptots with a single dhamma so the exercise number 9 is basically we don't have to go through dr saab is telling us the different between difference between amrun and umaru the two names they are very common in arab i think he's he's trying to explain but we don't have to for our purpose we don't have to uh, uh go through this exercise because they are names only right um we move on to <coughs> exercise number 10 the only thing we can do is on page number 115 about these uh, dr saab has given a small chart amrun is a name amrun is a name have you come across Amr- name amrun in in saudi arabia akbar probably probably is not a very po- popular name there yeah amrun umaru is very po- uh, popular amrun is probably not amrun will becomes amran in mansub form and become amrin but we 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 keep the vow to differentiate between umaru so that people don't confuse it amrin and then umaru umara and umara in a in a marfu form in a mansub form and in a majrur form that's all uh, dr abhi is trying to teach us that's all number 10 now number 10 is very important akhara and ukhra and i think this is perhaps the the last exercise we will do and we'll try to finish i don't think we can finish we have only 5 minutes left i think so we'll just try to finish akhara and ukhra and then we'll uh, uh, close the 8 uh, minutes. minutes yeah so akhara uh is used for masculine and ukhra is used for is the feminine form of akhara let's call it that way so now dr saab is telling us ikrama yali read the following kharaja min al fasli hamza tu hamza left from the class right uh, akbar hamza left from the class wa and harfu ataf talibun akhara another student akhara means another akharu. sorry akharu akharu means another student and akharu is coming as not for talibun so just watch uh, the the ending of the akharu haza baituna this is our house walana and belong to us baitun akharu another house right دخل المكتبة مكتبة قبل قليلا قليلا المدير 
the director entered the library a while ago, little while ago, wa rajalun and a man, aharu la arifuhu, and another man whom I don't know. Arafa ya arifu. Five in your pocket. Ya arifu, tarifu, tarifu, arifu, narifu. So arifu, I don't know. La is your la an nafia. Right? La an nafia. Ghabal yawma. Ghabal yawma. Bashirun. Bashir is absent today. Wa talibun and, and, and akharu. Another student. Talibun, akharu. Raitu, I saw Phil Matar in the, at the airport. Mudarrisana, our teacher. Wa mudarrisan, akhara. Now, you see, now I am not saying akharu, I am saying akhara. Why? Okay, let's uh, let's um, let's uh, uh, grammatically analyze this one. This is this is raitu. I saw. Is this a mutadi uh, mutadi verb? Is this a transitive verb? Yes. 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 What do we need? Mafulun bihi. Where is the mafulun bihi? Mudarrisa. Mudarrisa. Right. Where is the um, uh, where is the file for ra in, in raitu? Tu. Tu is the file. Right. Fil matari is your jar majroor. Mudarrisa, not mudarrisu, mudarri, mudarrisana, our teacher, va and mudarrisan, matufunali, matufunala, mudarrisa, another mafulun bihi, goes back to matufunala, it goes back to mudarrisa. So now mudarrisan is mansub and aharu is the, is the nath for mudarrisan, it becomes ahara as well because nath has to match. Adjective has to match. N uh, number two. Sahfazu al yoma sahf sahf. Now the sahfus takbal is there. Sahfazu. Now sa is sahfus takbal used in Quran, and then there's another uh, uh, particle of uh, featurity used in Quran. Saufa. Kalla saufa talamun. Summa kalla saufa talamun. The saufa is another particle for futurity but it is for uh, 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 future in baid mustaqbil uh, baid uh, in a far future sa is near future if we understand this thing then the we would understand what allah is saying kalla safa talamun summa kalla safa talamun sahfazu al yawma surat ar rahmani i will memorize today surat ar rahman wa suratan Surat ar rahmani why, why not suratu? Why surata? Because it is a mafulun bihi, the, uh, the object. Wa surata and another sura ukhra. Not akharu, ukhra, feminine form, because suratan is feminine. In the, I have saatun jamilatun, beautiful watch. Wa sayashtari, and I will buy li for me. Ammi, um, uh, my, uh, uh, my uncle, Saatan Ukhra, Saatan Ukhra, uh, feminine form. Ghabat, Amsi, Hafsatu. Hafsa is absent today, uh, yesterday. Amsi is yesterday, right? But Talibatan and, fee, and another uh, uh, student, female student, Ukhra, another one. Hati tafahatan ukhra ya ummi. Give me tafahatan apple. Right? Give me another apple ukhra. Oh my mother. Raitu, I saw fil maktabati in the library. Laila, wa talibatan ukhra. And another female student. Right, Anamai? Raitu. Now, Raitu fil maktabati, Laila wa talibatan ukhra. Where is the. Question is, number 3 mein talibatun hai, or number 5 mein is talibatan. So, you forget. Yeah, wa, why? Why? Be, be, right, good. So, Ghabat, right? Ghabat, Amsi, Hafsatun. Wa um, talibatun. What is the grammatical value of Hafsatun? Uh, file. File, file, right? And talibatun is matufunala. Uh, hafsatun, right. 
Um, but in the for in the fifth one, Raitu Fil Maktabati Laila Laila wa Talibatan, not Talibatun, right? So why why Mansub here? Because it is the Mafulun Bihi, the object. And the where is the file in Raitu? Tu is the file. Right? Who saw? I saw. So two is the file. But in the number three, Hafsa the Hafsa was absent. She was the file. So that's why she is Marfu. So that is the difference. That's a good catch, Inambai. I think we'll stop here, Inambai. Um, and uh, yeah, um, we'll inshallah finish uh, lesson number 16 in, in the next class. Um, <coughs> and then start lesson number uh, 17. Uh, we will learn about Al Master Al Mawal. Just give a um, very quick introduction uh, before we leave. What is Al Master? The original. And then Al Master Al Mawal is how to make a mudare into a master form. Uh, that's uh, th that we will learn. And, and Al Master Mawal used in the Quran as well. So um, with an. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعف أننا وقف لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته